Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Joshua chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Now before they lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that the terror of you has fallen on us and that all the inhabitants of the land have melted away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. When we heard it, our hearts melted, and no courage remained in any man any longer because of you. For the Lord your God, He is God in heaven above and on earth beneath, Now, therefore, please swear to me by the Lord, since I have dealt kindly with you, that you also will deal kindly with my father's household, and give me a pledge of truth, and spare my father and my mother, and my brothers and my sisters, with all who belong to them, and deliver our lives from death. So the men said to her, Our life for yours, if you do not tell this business of ours. And it shall come about when the Lord gives us the land that we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. Rahab, a prostitute in the ancient enemy nation of Jericho, had faith that the Lord would rescue her family from the Israelites' impending attack. We aren't told why she chose to protect the men of Israel and trust God. Perhaps Rahab herself didn't even know why she risked defying the king on behalf of two strangers. What we do know is this. On trusting in God's protection, Rahab became grafted into the story of his people. The Lord didn't count Rahab's sin against her, but instead spared the woman's entire family and redeemed her history. Ultimately, Rahab chose God's way over her own culture and livelihood, at the risk of her own life. When her city and its walls fell to the ground, She joined the family of Israel and was given a new home. Faith changed the trajectory of her life, and she's listed as one of the women in Jesus' lineage. Similarly, faith in Christ transforms our own life and invites continual renewal and change in us. It's not our sin that the Lord ultimately considers, but our faith in Him. Rahab's story reminds us that we don't have to be perfect for God to use us. No matter what we've done, He can reweave our broken past into a future filled with grace. 